Hey guys, I just got home from a very productive day. Anyway, this is what I got today. Yeah, buddy, I went out there and I got my 08 sticker. You know, I thought to myself, this is not... The funny thing is, the 06 sticker is like the same color as this one, and 06 is hard to tell apart from 08, so I could probably get away with not doing it, but I, I knew I couldn't let it go for two years without registering, so I went up there to the DMV this morning, and I worked it out with them, and I uh, gave them a check for $123, and we were good to go. And I also went to the bank and cashed my paycheck. And she told me she couldn't give me any cash out of the check because I had a negative balance. I had to deposit the whole thing. I was like, oh, crap. And I, I had a feeling it was going to happen because when I did my taxes, which I also did today, I used my bank card to pay for it. It was just like $117. Now, that must have put me in a negative balance because... Uh, is my deposit slip. I was balanced negative 739. You probably can't read that, so I don't know why I'm even pushing it on you, but yeah. Somehow I thought I was going to be more like closer to negative 70, not negative 7, but hey, if it says negative 7, that's fine, but the check was 380, so we should be okay. That check will clear. That leaves me with uh, six bucks to get through Friday, which is not a problem because I'm stocked on TV dinners and I got plenty of Coke, or Coke fuck, as I sometimes call it. Last year when I did my taxes, it took like two hours to do it, and an hour and a half of that was just sitting and waiting for the other people to get done. But maybe it wasn't that long, but, but today I went in there expecting the same thing, and no, they just took me right away, and I was out of there in literally like 25 minutes. So that was nice. Looks like I'll be getting back about the same thing I usually get, which is uh, about... I don't know, I know people don't like to talk about this on their videos, and there's, maybe there's a reason for that, I don't know what it is, I never really got it myself, because, it was a, oh, by the way, I'm wearing my Lou Ryder shirt, proudly, I might say, you can probably see my tits right here, see my little nipples right next to his face, um, anyway, um, what was I saying? I got the taxes done. What it was is I was looking up the Liberty Tax because they, they set shop in different areas of the city every year. They're in a different place. This is what, the reason I first started doing business with them is because they set one up right next to the store I work at. So I just did it after I got off of work and it was a piece of cake. And they were actually really good, so I went back to them again. And this will be the third year that I've went with them. And so, but they set the shop up this year right across from the DMV. So it worked out good for me. I just did my taxes, go across the street, get the 08 sticker, and I'm good to go. So. All in all, those two things put together took less time than I thought the taxes alone were going to take. That worked out excellent. When I was at the store, I got some groceries. I got some state fair corn dogs, which if you ever want to move to Wisconsin, this is one huge reason to do it. Because these are just heavenly, let me tell you. Now I sound like Silver Screen Girl. I also got a <clears throat> Chef Boy RD assorted little spaghetti and meatballs. One buck eat. Which is not a bad deal, really, at all. Walmart's gone for 98 cents, but hell, you probably spend more gas driving the extra eighth of a mile to get there. Not to mention all the trouble of walking through the parking lot. Beefaroni and spaghetti and meatball. Yeah, buddy. At least I'm not buying three Musketeers bars. But then probably the only reason I'm not is because I already have some here. What I wanted to do was actually go outside, put the sticker on my car, then like film myself doing it. So what I'm thinking I might do is start right here, start a little timer and see how long it actually takes to walk to my car. So here we go. And I can't count. I'm not going to be able to see the timer because I'm not going to put it in until after I put this through movie's window, movie maker. So what are we up to, like 10 or 15 seconds now? It's like, hey, I got all the time in the world. You don't, but I do. What movie is that from? I just showed you a piece of it a couple videos ago. Um, well, it's not taking so long tonight because the sidewalk is closed. But once you get up to this corner up here, this nice little patch of ice right there, which used to be covering like the entire tile, I guess you would call it right here. So what I end up doing, see how you got the ice here on the ground like this? So what I'm always doing is I'm walking up against the side of the wall and I'm brushing up against this wall. And that wouldn't be such a big deal, but I'm doing that at 1.30 in the morning. It's like somebody trying to sleep on the other side. And here we are. Dude, for some reason, the camera stopped there. I don't know. Okay, this is the parking lot. And it's just so... Sometimes the snow actually helps. It gives you some traction because you crunch it. But here the snow crunch is a lyric that we're not going to hear for another 11 months. And I just assume not experience the concept that that lyric encapsulates anytime soon either. 
healthy December 06. It's not good, man. See all, you can see all the stickers under it. There's not much of a surface there to really... Oh, oh boy. These things really are made of metal or something. They're crunching like they are. Anyway, so I wet that napkin. We're going to clean this off here. How long did that take anyway? That probably wasn't even a minute. Here I am trying to tell you people that it takes me three minutes to walk out of my car. I guess I am really self-pitying. You know, it's bad enough when you're self-pitying, but then when you lie about what you have to go through. So, oh wait, sticker. We will peel. Oh yeah, this is just so exciting. I can't believe you people are watching this. And with that, oh crap. It's still wet, I think. I worry about this because it's like 17 degrees out here, so... Shit, that's not sticking. Crap. Can I put it over here? Wait a second. Uh, let me clean off this little area here. I should just wipe, up, wipe off the entire thing, but... Okay, let's try that again. Is this upside down? Here. No, oh, 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 don't blow it away now. Yeah, it's 17 degrees by the thermometer. Here we go. Yeah, that's sticking. How about that? I think we're gonna have to put them from now on. Oh, geez, I just showed you my license. Now you can look it up and get all my information. Anyway, so we're heading back. I suppose I could point you up a little bit. This is what we got out here. It's just like crumpled. It's like shattered concrete at this point. I mean, this is what came off of the sidewalk, apparently. This has been blown so many times that you can make a career in prostitution, just about. New, 17 degrees, but it feels really good actually, compared to what a, to what it's been. There was actually at the at the store. I wish I'd had my camera. I would have filmed it. There was a guy wearing sandals at the store. Sandals and blue jeans, man. He was one step away from a Neil Diamond song. Well, not really, but it sounds like a Neil Diamond song, doesn't it? Here's Tom's diner. Oh man. Just imagine one month from today, well actually maybe two months from today, this will all be a happy memory. This guy right here must be 615 pounds, look at this. Huh. Now everybody's going to go look up his license number. Not that you can really do anything, I mean, well, you're probably 500 miles away. Well, most people who watch this are at least 500 miles away. And that's my whole point, you know, is I don't see why there's so much paranoia on the internet. People say, you know, don't give out your personal information and stuff. But it's like, well, you know, if, if you're going to worry about psychos, you should worry about the ones who don't have to drive 500 miles to get to you. I mean, that's my opinion, but I mean, I know it's not a one, it's not a one size fits all thing, though. I know that there are different situations. But still, I mean, if I wanted to stalk somebody, you know, I just go to the mall. Because people see you there too, you know. It's no different when they're watching you on YouTube than it is when they see you at the mall.